Hi, here we are with the short intro for our programming education website codebi.com. It is in its core the collection of programming problems. You can solve them one by one and check your solution by submitting the answers uh, to our checker. Our tester, Alumashka, uh, recorded this video and I'll try to explain what she is doing. Uh, you see here the main page with the list of recently added problems and a list of top solvers. Perhaps you'll be among them one day. Uh, but we now are interest, interested in a login button. Uh, we use Facebook accounts to log in, so when you click uh, this button, a uh, dedicated window uh, should appear, uh, where you will be able to enter your credentials. Let's see. Here it is. Note that URL is of Facebook. Here your uh, login email is entered and the password. Clicking the login button you are redirected to the site. Uh, you get to the page with the list of uh, tasks. Uh, they are arranged in several volumes and this volume is beginner's problems. Here are other volumes. Tasks would be added here one by one. You see there are several ways to switch between volumes. Let us return to beginner's problems. Uh, here are some tasks unsolved and we select first of them. Uh, tasks about summing uh, the numbers uh, in a loop and return the result. Here is the problem statement explaining what should be done. And uh, here is the sample of input data. Here are answers which you should return and uh, this is specification for this data. Uh, here are real test data which you should use in your program. They are generated randomly so if you reload the page you will see uh, the data are uh, different each time and here is the field to enter the answer. For example if we choose some random value and uh, make the appearance that we uh, entered some solution and we'll try to submit it. Let's see what will happen. You see our solution is wrong and you'll see uh, the expected answer is shown so you can check yourself. Let us try again but uh, with more a systematic way uh, this time. Uh, let us write the short program uh, with the help of online compiler ide1.com. Uh, I always recommend it for short problems and I use it very often. Let's see how it works. Uh, Alumashka changes the language to Python uh, since she prefer it and uh, opens the box for entered, entering uh, the input data. Uh, she simply uh, selects them all and uh, uh, copy them with the help of clipboard uh, paste in this box. Now uh, she can enter uh, the text of program. Let us see how she tries to solve uh, the problem. Uh, she reads the number of uh, 
values to sum from the first line. Uh, in Python it is not really necessary since it can split the uh, input in necessary amount of numbers itself. Uh, here she reads uh, the list of numbers, splits uh, them and uh, convert them to integers. Now in in a loop she will try to sum them. Let us see. Uh, I think she needs some uh, variable to write result into and uh, yes she will simply uh, add each uh, sequential value to it uh, taking them from the list. Now she is going to print result. Well uh, this should work and she clicks run button. Uh, it takes some time, few seconds to compile and run the program. Here is the result. She will try to uh, paste it. Let us see. Oh, she will try to save the source code of the program. Uh, it is useful. Uh, perhaps it would be used for some uh, following problems. Uh, well, she is trying to be very accurate to show you how you can copy and paste them. See, uh, the solution is correct. A solution for task number two. She goes to her profile, no, to task list, and uh, you see the Well, I see she is going to show that uh, the problem could be solved several times. Uh, this will not increase your points, but you can uh, provide more optimal solution and see, yes, in Python uh, this problem really could be solved in just one or two lines. Uh, she pastes new input data here, runs the program and nice answer, beautiful number. Uh, she copy it and uh, takes the code of the solution to uh, instead uh, prevails long variant. Yes, the solution is correct again. And now she went to her profile. She goes to her profile and you see the problem is in this list now. Uh, yes, she shows that um, profile could be shared with Facebook if you want to boast for friends uh, here is her position in the rank table. Uh, what is rank of acolyte? Uh, it is some funny name for uh, people depending on how many tasks were solved. You see, if you solve a uh, hundred of tasks, you will be the bishop. Here are some uh, pages to help you. Uh, our short uh, wiki. Uh, yes, uh, there is the collection of uh, some explanations for some algorithms, for example, binary search. Uh, there is dedicated problem for it. Uh, help uh, is uh, the link to some of wiki pages uh, dedicated to using the website itself. Now log out and and now you can try this yourself thanks